Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to charge this lithium ion cell or 18650 cell. So let's get started. We're going to get a once in a lifetime opportunity to join the party too. No catch, no money, no skills required. <laughs> Alright friends, so we have this 18650 cell as you can see here and we use it in most of the, the videos. These uh, cells are very different than the lead acid cells and batteries as well but they are very useful and very dangerous as well all right so stay tuned you're going to learn how to charge it what you're going to need and how to do it properly all right so let's proceed all right first thing first when you're going to have a lithium ion cell you have to um, have in mind some specification yeah the voltage <laughs> Two thousand years later. So the voltage is 3.5 when it's flat, 3.7 nominal, and 4.2 fully charged. Yeah. So these are the steps of the, the charging battery. To be able to charge the battery is a different process than you ever seen before. First, you're gonna have some CC, and then you're gonna have some CV. What that means, this is very simple, you know, CC stands for constant current and CV stands for constant voltage. So this is a three-step actually charging procedure. You're gonna charge the battery with constant current till it's gonna reach the threshold of four volts or 4.2 volts. And then we're gonna swap from CC, which means constant current to CV, constant voltage. So when we're gonna charge it with constant current till this threshold, 4.2 volts, and then to top it up, basically like the lead acid battery, we're gonna use just constant voltage. And because of the ohms law and the internal resistance of the battery, the current is gonna naturally decrease and normally they have an IC with uh, building the chargers that they're gonna monitor the, co the current drawing so when the current draw is gonna read like the 5% of the total uh, set current the charger the intelligent charger IC is gonna stop the whole process of it uh, going further and Comparing this kind of battery was with the, the previous one, the lead acid battery, we're gonna have the same kind of parameters but totally different. Oh, okay. yeah. Jesus Christ. Gonna need some stuff like volts, time, and charging. Charger or charge or whatever you want to call it yeah all right this one we know the volts yeah we know should be 4 or 4.2 volts that's it maximum time is the constant time that uh, the battery is going to take for it to be fully charged like i'll show you previous in the those two uh, steps constant current and then constant voltage. So the time here is we're not gonna be able to use it to determine the charging rate of the battery. So charging time of the lead acid battery is gonna be unknown or if it's not specified from the manufacturer, could be four hours, could be 10 hours and so on. But the charge, the charge is very important because this one is gonna be like C over two or maybe less, yeah, because because this kind of battery are very different than the, than the less lead acid ones but very useful as well we, we can make like power packs power banks and so on uh, tesla power wall is made of these multiple cells stacked together in series in parallel and so on I have a video over there if you want to check it how to make a small 12 volts power bank very easy all right then let's make an example first and then you're gonna get the point so you you did remember the thing yeah? constant current and then constant voltage all right then 
let's say we have a battery that, that has the capacity of uh, 2000 milliamps. If you don't know the capacity of your lithium ion battery or 18650 cell, you can buy a discharger um, special electronic or an IMAX B6 that after a while is going to do some calculation and after a time it's going to discharge the battery and it's going to show you the milliamps, total milliamps capacity. All right, so let's say if you, we have a battery that does have the capacity of 2000 milliamps, we're going to need a power supply that's going to provide like 4 volts, yeah, and at the rate of C over 2. That means over 2, so we're going to divide this one by this, so we're going to need 1000 milliamps, yeah, so 1000 milliamps. After this calculation, and if you go, you want to go safer than this, your power supply needs to provide 4 volts and let's say wherever is going to be under this voltage, like 800, 800 milliamps is the, the capacity that you can find in those small cheap power banks that are everywhere and you saw them in my, in my videos. They provide like 700 or 600 milliamps of uh, charging power but at 5 volts that's another total topic so in these batteries you have to keep in mind the C rate which here is not gonna be the the constant time is gonna be the charging rate of the of the battery as long as not specified less than that a C over 2 so half a C is plenty or is safe enough for a, um, each and every lithium ion cell as long as they are genuine and so on Thanks all for watching, in the meanwhile thumbs up, subscribe over here and see you on the next one. Bastards. Fucking bastards.